guys welcome to the Mary Boozers RC channel today we have our very beginner friendly easy airplane for you this is the mini Aero Scout guys that are looking for their first model in the RC world for a kid or, or, himself. or himself something that, that, inexpensive that wants to have the experience do I want it do can I do this all do, those yeah. questions this will answer. Right. This is your most inexpensive way to get, get into this hobby RC. and get a good quality airplane you can still buy replacement parts for. You know, you can go out and buy cheap airplanes anywhere, but the thing I want to get across to you is if you buy this, it's from Horizon Hobby, they have support for it, you can buy the motor, you can buy the prop, you can buy the wing. The fuse lock. It's not buying one from China. Right. If you damage your airplane when you're flying it, which is going to happen on your first airplane, yep. just being honest, you can get a replacement for it. So, today we're going to be taking it out of the box. And another thing is you're going to get your money out. Yeah, you're going to you know, get your you, money. Everybody wants to know, am I going to get my money out of what I've spent? <laughs> the answer, this is that product. Right. So, in this, our is, opinion. this is our very, very cheapest, mo not even cheapest, most inexpensive way to get into the hobby. Now, what we're going to do is get this out of the box today for you. And, show how it goes together. Well, another thing is, in, our, in some of our videos, we call some of them park. This is pretty close to what we would call a park flyer. Right. You can fly this one in the yard. Yeah, in the or yard. In the in park. The, in the park. And you don't have to worry about hurting, hurting somebody or someone with this one. Right. Yeah. I mean, it's... It, it, can, it still flies pretty fast, but at the same time, it doesn't weigh a whole lot. Right, and and it's got the prop in the bag. It's designed to be your first airplane. So let's get this thing down on the table. Let's start unboxing it, show the guys what they get in the box. And another thing. And what they can do. We want to make sure that they understand that at the end of this, they want to keep the box to carry it around. Right. There. This airplane does go back in the box. So yeah. keep your so box. Keep the box. So anyway, let's get this down on the bench. Let's, let's start go. taking it apart. Let's go. All right. So here we have our mini Aero Scout out on the table. All I've done is flip it up to the lid just to show you what comes in the box. You get your instruction manual. Don't forget all Horizon Hobby products. You can always check the instruction manual on their website. They always update them in real time. So if you want the most up-to-date instruction manual, go to horizonhobby.com, click on the model that you have, and you'll have the most updated manual. Some safety guidelines. We'll all check this out later. For now, let's get into the model. So we're gonna flip this open. And here is how the bottle comes in the box, guys. Keep your box. This is a good way to store this bottle. Um, but let's start going through everything. So you have your wing. This is a simple three-channel model, so no ailerons on this. They've tried to make this as inexpensive and as easy as they can to where if you break the wing, you just order a new wing. Nothing crazy here. Great quality foam. It's a very strong pretty finish on this as you can see good looking model all right keep going on the thing you also have the airplane itself the aero scout you can see this is a pusher propeller designed airplane what that means is when you do have your accident it's gonna happen you come in and you hit the good news is the motor and the propeller are back here on the back so you're not going to be tearing them up when you hit the ground. It's been pretty rare to break that propeller. Uh, you're going to have to really be trying to break that. There's the uh, battery hatch. You can see it's got the little battery tray here. And you have the servo board right here with the two servos in it. I think I'm a little hair. There we go. Anyway. If you do have an issue when you plug this in and one of these servos isn't working, you may have a bad board at that point. Don't forget, Horizon Hobby is great. They have a good customer service team. You can always reach out to them. If you do have any issues with your model, right out of the box, being that you're a newbie, it's never a bad idea to reach out to the guys there at product support or customer service. They're very, very handy at teaching you about your model if you do have any issues. We're hopefully not going to, 
we're going to just go along with this but there you go that's pretty much the simple basics of the model uh, you do also get some wheels so you can either hand toss this or if you want to be able to land and take it off it's as simple as just plugging these little wheels in oops, yeah, oops. something like that they go in here I can't snap them in because I'm on camera trying to do this, but they snap down in there. Yeah, there, got them. <laughs> I was at a weird place, but they just snap in there like that if you want to be able to use the wheels. It does have a tail wheel on the back. Super easy. Let's go over some of the other parts real quick that are in the box. You well, get your transmitter. You did assembly one and two on the assembly. First was to put the canopy uh, <laughs> right. on. Part of two was to put the landing gear on. <laughs> it's pretty simple. So here's the little inexpensive Hobby Zone transmitter that comes with this airplane. Uh, you have your throttle on this side, rudder, ailerons, and elevator. So I'm not sure how that's going to work, being that this airplane only has three channels. They probably have the rudder on this channel and the elevator over here and just throttle. Can I take it there's no programming? It comes programmed out of the box. Yeah, it should come programmed out of the box. We're going to check all that as we go here. I'm going to show you any type of issues that you could run into. Uh, if there is a way to bind this, I'm going to show you how to do it. We'll get there in a minute. Uh, you also get your 800 milliamp 1S LiPo battery. It is a JST connector. If you're going to look for more batteries for your model, you'll need to know that. But this is a JST connector on this battery. You get the provided charger for this airplane. Now, over time, this will work in the beginning when you're just trying to charge one or two little batteries. But in time, you're probably going to want to upgrade to either the S150 charger or the S1100 charger, just so you can charge a little faster. In the beginning, this is going to work just fine for you. But like I said, that's something you might start thinking about if you want to do any upgrading in the future. Finally, you get a pack of double A's for your transmitter. Uh, he's pointing that I missed something. I can't see it from here. It's probably the screws. Yep. Um, anyway, you get the batteries for your transmitter, so you can pop those into your transmitter and get out flying. This is the wing bolt, and I'm not sure what the other part is. I haven't read the manual yet, but this is what everything that comes in the box right there, so you guys can see it. Anyway. So, next step, let's get the wings put on it. Let's make sure our radio is bound up and everything is working in the correct direction. So, be back with you guys in just a second. All right, guys, so we're down here on the bench. Papa's sitting over there ready to go. What we need to do first, if you haven't already plugged your wheels in, you can plug those in. You saw me do it just a second ago. And also, number one was put the hatch on. The hatch so comes on it out of the box, but okay. yeah. And then number two was snap the wheels in, which we've already did. Very simple. I mean, it's not, yep. not that great a thing. Ever. And then number three, it says install the wing. So the wing just keys in keys on the in front, there, pushes slides down. down. Take your little bolt here. And the little bolt came in this bag. Comes and you tighten it down here. I imagine it just bottoms out. Don't over tighten. Yep. Don't forget it's foam, guys. Don't over tighten it. You just want to get it tight. You can look. Let me see this real quick. You can actually look up from the bottom and you can see this little gap right here, guys. So as you're tightening it, that little gap will fill in. I don't think I got it down. See that gap tighten up right there? So just get it to where that little gap is tight and you know you've got it in the right spot. See that now? Where you don't see that gap anymore? Make sure your propeller is free, I yep. think. And, and, it, and I would pull on it and make sure it's tight and, and just just to be checking things just so that don't fall. You know, out. don't rip it off or anything. Um, but yeah, just, you just make pull sure against it, is... make sure the manufacturer's got it on there. Sometimes it could be loose. Same thing back here on the elevator. Go on and just give it a little tug. Make sure nothing's loose back here. I'm just, I'm not pulling hard on it. I'm just making sure nothing's broken, nothing's loose. We're all good there. 
Now this is a foam hinge. Uh -huh. So all it is is, a, is the foam hinge on this thing. So there's no hinging on it other than foam product. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do now, we've already opened up our batteries. Flip over your controller. Pretty simple here, but we're gonna show you it anyway. Pop them in, negative to negative, positive to positive, no big deal. We're gonna make sure it works. It does. So, now we're gonna need to fl charge our flight pack next. So find yourself a USB port to plug this little guy into and let's get this charged up. All right guys, so we're gonna plug our charger in here. I just have a USB brick sitting here, but if you have the side of a computer or whatever else, uh, you just plug that in and take and plug your flight battery in. It's a JST, it can only go one direction. If it doesn't just go in real gentle, you're putting it in the wrong way, do not force it. You'll see the little red light turns on, that means that our battery is charging. Hopefully you can see that. I know it's kind of small here on the table. Oh, here, it's your pal. There you go, the little red light. Anyway. Hard to get that to focus. There we go. So you'll see the little red light turns on. I believe it will turn off when we're done charging it. We'll definitely show you here once we get to that point, but that's how the charger works for this little airplane. So guys, we're gonna install the battery now and we're going to take the Velcro and we're gonna take the soft side and put it in the battery tray on, in the aircraft. We stick it to that wood part there. Then we take the hook side and we take the backing off of that and we install it not on the, this side because you need that information when you're charging. So we're going to put it on the back side very simply and stick it to it and we make sure it's good and stuck. Now what all that does is it goes in there and I'm gonna try it this way. I'm gonna put, put the lead side to the front. Just so you get it in there, it's probably okay for this aircraft. Now, what normally happens now is that- We're gonna need to bind it next. Bind the aircraft. So give us just a second and we'll be back to show you how to bind it. All right guys, at this point we have our fully charged battery installed into the airplane. We have our transmitter batteries installed in our controller. We are ready to bind this airplane. So what dad's gonna do right now is plug the flight battery in. It only goes one direction. Guess what? You got it right. I'm trying, I'm trying. It's on <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. Hard to do this on camera always, yeah. guys. Yeah. I think I put it in there the wrong way. There we go. So what it's going to do is after What I would probably seconds, tell you to do is connect it before you stick it in here. Okay? Right. We had to put it in there the first time, but there we go. Now, what you're seeing now is it if blinking. You, Let's see, turn it this way. See that blinking on the board in there, guys? So that means that it's in bind mode. So what we're gonna do with the stick all the way down is push in on this. You're gonna hear a click. See, it says bind. Now you're gonna turn the transmitter on. And now we're gonna hold it away from the model, let go of the stick, and it should bind up. Both lights have turned solid. <laughs> So it should be bound, let's see. Yes, it is. So you can see the rudder moves when I move the stick. Can you see that? See right here. Let me hold so it up this way. There you go, perfect. So when I go to the left, the rudder goes to the left. When I go, hold the tail up just a little bit, Dad. There you go, perfect. When I go to the right, the rudder goes to the right. See that? So now we're gonna test our elevator. When I go up, the elevator goes up. When I go down, the elevator goes down. 
You also have a right button right here by pushing the stick down and in to change the right. See there's high right now, you can see it moves a lot more. Up, the, down, high, the high down, right will down. be indicated by a long tone. There the low right will be indicated by a short tone. There's low and high. Low and high. You can see it changes. So there you go. Low, high. Now, the last thing we need to check is the motor. His hands are clear. We're going to give it a little bit of throttle. So that works correctly. So at that point, this model is set up and ready to be flown. Now, let's go over the pre-flight checklist that we want to check before we go out and fly our model. Okay. So, pre-flight checklist, which is in the manual. Find a safe and open area. Charge the battery, flight battery. Assemble the aircraft. Install the transmitter batteries. Install the flight batteries. Perform control direction tests. Which we just showed you how to do. Plan flight for flying field conditions. Set a flight timer for 10 minutes. There you go guys, 10 minute flight time on this little model. And it does say in the directions that the battery will take 75 to 90 minutes to charge with the with charging the provided device provided. Now, in time you can upgrade. I have the S1100 charger. I can charge this battery in about under 30 minutes. I mean, it was pretty fast when we charged it. But guys, at this point, we're ready to go out to the field and we are ready to fly this airplane. So let's wrap this up and we'll see you in the next video where we're flying this airplane. All right, guys, so that gets the mini Aero Scout all put together. Super simple airplane for you guys that are just getting started. This will be perfect for a kid at Christmas, birthday, however you want to do that. It's small enough and inexpensive enough that you're not going to have to worry about them hurting anybody flying this little model around. Um, and I guarantee you it's <laughs> going to be fun. Fun and easy to For fly. For a first yeah. timer, it will be a ball. Right. I mean, I even look, I mean, I, as long as I've been flying these things, I guarantee you this mm -hmm. thing is a ball. Ten minute flight time. Ten minute flight time. Even the big thing, we only get in about five minutes. Right. So you get ten minutes. You get twice the time. Right. So, guys, if you do have any issues where you crash your model, and you need a replacement part. At the back of your manual is all the parts list for this airplane. You can order every piece of this thing. So if you do damage it in any way, don't forget, you can fix it. Um, you can also go on horizonhobby.com. They have the full part list. Or if you have a local hobby store, they're going to carry the parts for this airplane also. There you go. Yeah, He's got the, the manual parts list. list on the very back right here. All of Horizon's know. airplanes do this. So if you ever have one that you break something on and you want it, there's your way. So this is your very entry level airplane, inexpensive. Get out there flying. This is a way to do it. If you've been watching our videos and going, man, I sure would like to do that, don't start with a jet. That's a bad idea. Start with something out of these lists here. So well, what we're going to do real quick, where I want to put the models up here on the table that we recommend, and I'm going to show you in order which airplanes are your best first ones and why. So let's hold up for just a second, and I'm going to pop these up here. So guys, as you're starting your RC career, here is the way we look at this. If you're looking for a kid and it's inexpensive and they just want to try it or you want to try this, the Mini Aero Scout is a great little model. <laughs> it only works with the provided controller though. So if you're looking at upgrading over time, I would recommend at least going to the Aero Scout to uh, the Aero Scout S2, excuse me. This one can bind to your full range spectrum receivers and grow with you as you go. From there, we're going to go all the way over here. I got it in the wrong spot. But we're going to go Sport Cub S. This is another great entry level model that will bind to a full range 
<laughs> spectrum receiver like the NX8 or the NX6 transmitter. This is a great little model that's inexpensive for you guys to try if you're getting started. And finally, this would be really what I call the hobby grade trainer. Uh, the Apprentice has been around for a long time. This is the latest Apprentice, the S1.2. They also have a red version of this airplane. This model works great with buddy boxing. It will bind up to your favorite spectrum transmitter. Uh, what we're talking about with these transmitters is over time, you're gonna wanna get a computerized transmitter like the DX6 or the NX6 or the NX8. I really recommend when you do go to your better radio, you go to the NX8. It will grow with you in your hobby and you will always be able to bind whatever you're getting to this radio. But the Apprentice is really your hobby grade I want to do this. I really want to get into it. This is a great starter airplane. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please get out and fly with your friends. Like, share, and subscribe. As always, check out more of our entry-level airplanes that we have on the channel, accessories, and I hope you come and fly with us in the future. We'll see y'all in the next one. Y'all have a wonderful day.